Hey everyone, today I want to show you some of my arts and crafts um, or some projects that I did um, with stuff from the Dollar Tree and of course um, they're different and they're unique but you know I just wanted to try something so I'm going to share with you what I did try. Okay, this is what I ordered a long, long time ago from Ebony Line. Um, I ordered two packs of this um, Equal the Premium Integration. Um, it has inches um, 14 and 16 with a bang and a, you know, those little small closures. And it's a loose body curl five piece. And it says it's supposed to be 80% more hair. So what I did to, to, well, yesterday I did try to make a wig, um, just trial and error thing. So I just wanted to see, cause I had this hair for a long time and, um, I don't have enough hair to be trying to get a sew in or anything like that. So I just decided to make a wig and I got this from Sally's, um, a while back also. I was just going to use this just to put it on my head or give it to my son because he has um, those little twists in his head. But I decided to go ahead and use it for a wig. And it's the Premium Collection Real Fit Spandex Cap. And that's it right there. It's the black. They have um, several different colors. And you can see it's Sally's. Um, it's something that I had from a long time ago. And I was like... Since it's just sitting there, even if I mess it up, you know, at least I tried to do something with it. And this is the finished look for my wig that I did. And that's, the hair is really pretty and shiny. It does shed. It does shed a lot. <laughs> um, but that may be because I had to cut the tracks. But, yeah. So, since I have hot flashes, <laughs> I will not be wearing this during the summertime. But I just wanted to try it. I don't know if I am going to wear it um, or give it to someone, but this is what I did. And, um, like I said, it is the equal hair. Um, the five piece, the 14, two 14, it's um, two 16 inches with a closure and a bang. And my favorite color is this blonde color at the bottom. Normally you would have the blonde at the top, but I think, you know, that's, that's cute, you know. So, yep, so that's one of the projects that I did using the Dollar Tree glue sticks and the glue gun I got from Walmart a while back. Um, the pink glue gun. Let me get it for you. Just to show you what I used. This is the little pink glue gun that I used. This way, I had some other um, glue sticks. They seem to stick better than the the I mean the Dollar Tree brand, but um, yeah. So that's what I use for my wig, and of course a comb. And this is what I made with the with the um, shells that I got with the plates, the trays. Um, and I put the little beads that I got, or gems, whatever you want to call it. I put those, glue those to the bottom, and put some in the little, um, it was a little four-piece wine glass thing that they had. Um, I think I left it in there. But, um, you know, I think it's four or five little cups in there. And I just attached it to the, to the plate with the glue stick and glue gun and put the little gems at the bottom and I think it's rather cute you know for 
a little decoration on the table or um, counter or whatever whatever you want to use it for but I really like this bottom part let me show you that is the glue that's up under there but I have some tape that I could put up under there now, I don't think nobody's going to be really looking up under there um, but the the gems on there and the gems in the the little glass it's, I really think it's cute it's just um, something that I wanted to try I had you know imagine something in my head and I was like let me try it and see if it'll work and I like it you know you guys may not like it you may like it I don't know but I do I like it and I like the little glass you know it's five for a dollar that's not bad and this is the other one and I'm gonna show you them side by side just to see the difference because there is a little bit of a difference with the shells and I have another tray that I want to do, but I may just do something else with that. I don't know. But just in case I don't, um, I do have some more shells. So, yeah. And that's the difference in the colors. So I think, you know, doing something that's really inexpensive as this, um, the shells were a dollar, so actually doing this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, under ten dollars for that, you know, that's not bad. So that's what I wanted to show you um, with the little projects that I did. You know, I have to keep myself busy. I did have the interview today. Um, hopefully it works out with the schedule that I need, um, eventually, hopefully, but, um, you know, what God has for me is for me. So, you know, if it's meant for me to get that job, I will get it. If it's not, I will get another job. Yeah. So my hopes, I still have high hopes. Um, so yeah. And let me show you the other ones I just got they're a little different from the ones the shells they're a little different from the ones I have on the um actual trays back here um uh, but I'll see what happens and I will share that with you when I finish it okay and so just let me know what you think about the little artery crafty thing that I did back here um, I just like to do stuff that kind of keep me busy and keep my mind off the negative and staying on the positive. And I think, you know, that occupies my time pretty well. Um, it's just something that I had been since I took up, I took a class with a lady named Miss Fowler and I think it was my humanities class can't remember exactly but we was we were learning about art and music and all kind of stuff and we went to the art museum and I learned a lot and it made me really I always been interested in doing crafts and arts and you know stuff like that but it made me more into it and watching some videos on YouTube it kind of you know sparked it again and I was like okay you need to go ahead and just start doing stuff just you know it's going to be trials it's going to be some errors it's going to be hits and misses but you know that's how you learn how to better your craft so with that being said you guys let me know what you think about the crafts that I have shown you I did show you the um art canvas where I you know put the pictures on the canvases um and colored the edges of the canvases um, I did do that and I have them on my wall now and I, I I pretty much like them you know it's not the professionalist piece of art that you can do but you know I think it looks good on my wall you know so yeah I did more than one I did what um, seven 
pieces and I'm gonna do some more because practice does make perfect and um, I did try to do them a little bit different from everybody else you know everybody you know I try to do stuff different and have my own little signature move in it so and it works for me um, but just let me know what you think about the trade that I done and also what you think about my wig <laughs> Yep, I think she's pretty. She's a bit full. Um, I did that because I miss having my long hair. And good thing it's faded. Yeah. Um, I miss having my long hair, and I just decided to try something that'll kind of, you know, give me a long hair look. And I'm dropping it. <laughs> does not want to stay on this table yeah so just let me know what you think about it <laughs> um constructive criticism i'm fine with if you're here to be ugly nasty rude um disrespectful i'm not here for that i'm, I'm not here for any ungodliness anything that's not you know respectful and constructive i'm not here for that I'm here for improvement in myself and my crafts um, and anything I do. So if there's something that you see that I can um, improve in, your input is truly, truly welcome. As long as it's not, you know, just an ungodly way of doing things. So with that being said, I am going to let you go and I hope you enjoyed my little artsy crafty video. <laughs> um, if you liked it, comment and subscribe and um, hit the notifications button for future videos. And I will see you later. God loves you. And I do too. Bye.